Asking for help. In daily life, there are many cases that you need help from others. So this video can help you know many ways to ask for help. Watch and learn them. Situation 1. Ask for planning the company's party. Hey all, there is one more new job for us this week. I've just received the job description from the manager. We are going to prepare a company year-end closing party. Very exciting about it! What is the theme of this party? I remembered last time the theme was classic. What an amazing party! Yes, the last party was very successful, so the manager has high expectations for this party and for us. She hopes the party atmosphere is youthful, and the theme this time is flowers. That's a good idea. This party is big, so we have to prepare little by little. But we are also preparing for another corporate event. We are on the go. I know. I will take on the responsibility of brainstorming ideas for this end-year closing party in detail. From the location, main colors, decorations, invitations, but there's quite a bit of work. Can you give me a hand with this, Jessica? Of course. I finished my work at another event. I'll help you. Cool. So Jessica and I will be in charge of the ideas for the event. We will make a detailed plan and send it to you at the next meeting. Okay. And then we will prepare the decorations, taking flowers as the main theme. I need someone to buy flowers with. Can someone help me? Okay, I'll go with you. I know a famous flower store. The flowers are beautiful and the price is reasonable. Very good. How about the music? Any idea for the music? I think energetic songs will be very liked. Alex has always been the one who prepares the music. I wonder if you could help me with this, Alex? Sure, I'm willing to. Okay, and the last thing, food, including fruit, snacks, drinks. We have to know how many people will take part in this party to calculate the amount of food. I will report back to all of you at the next meeting. Okay. Situation 2. Receptionist help. Danny, wait for me a minute. I need to find the restroom. Okay, no problem. Thanks. Excuse me? Yes, how can I help you? Oh, yeah. I need your help in finding the restroom here. Yes, you can go straight to the signboard, then turn left. You will see the restroom sign. Yes, I went to try it, but I saw that the bathroom was not in use. Well, that's the staff restroom that's not in use. You go a few more steps and you will see the restroom for customers. It is still in normal use. Well, thanks, but if you don't mind, I could really use your assistance with explaining for me one more time. Yes, of course. After you see the restroom, which is not in use, you go straight for five more steps you can see the restroom for customers. In there, it also divides into two rooms as usual, for man and woman. Especially, we have one room that has a big mirror. You can use it too. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Situation three, ask my friend for help. Hello, 
John. What are you doing? Nothing much. Just relax. I finished the end term test for three days. I'm waiting for the results. What happens? Um, can I ask you for a favor? Sure, just say it. Morning tomorrow, I'm going to move to a new house. And my father perhaps cannot stay at home to move the household goods because he has an important meeting. Too many things. So can you come and help me? They are really heavy. Of course, I'm willing. I'm sure you can't carry them. Yes, so I need your help. Okay, no problem. But why doesn't your family hire a porter? They will help you carry your luggage. Yes, we have. But you know, my family really has a lot of things. And they only carry to the new house, not help us put it in the desired place. I need your help with a few heavy items, like the dressing table and bookshelf in my room. Okay, tomorrow morning, I will come early. About when? About 7 a.m., as soon as possible. And my mom invited you to join our housewarming party after completing moving the house. I'm glad to, thanks. Thank you so much, John. Every time I need help, you always give me a hand. Don't mention it. Situation 4. Ask for homework. Hello, Anna. This is Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Why are you calling me? Have you done the Friday homework from Mr. Alex, Anna? Can you give me a hand with this? Is this the history lesson? Yes. He told us to prepare a project about World War I, right? Yes. At the end of the lessons, he gave us some suggestions about the contents. I have done it this morning. Unfortunately, I didn't go to school this day because of my sickness. Oh, poor you. I forgot that. So now I really need your help. Sure. What is your problem? Yeah, a lot of things. I don't know how to start from scratch. I have tried to write something, but I felt it's not good. Well, he said that we could work individually and find more information about one content that we liked about World War I. That sounds really interesting. Actually, I copied Lisa's notebook, but because I don't understand the lesson well, I don't know how to do it. I also have read carefully textbook already. That's good. So, would you mind explaining the lesson to me? No problem. I'm free tonight. You can come to my home and we can learn together. It's a great way for me to revise this lesson. Thank you. I will come at 7.30 p.m. after my dinner. Okay, see you then. Situation 5. Asking for help from a colleague. Jessica, what are you doing? You look so busy. Alex, do you have free time? Could you help me for a second? Yes, I'm free now. Cool. Can you help me to carry the box from the meeting room to the director's room? Okay, but what's in the box? It looks so heavy. Uh, the documents. Where are they? Are they in meeting room 303 or 305? 303. Okay, you should take a rest. Be careful. Thanks. I have just carried about five boxes. I'm a little exhausted, but I can continue. Poor you. Let me help you. Thank you, Alex. How many boxes are left? Which box should I carry? Maybe three or four, but it would be great if you help me to carry the biggest one. I can't do it for sure. Yes, I know. A girl like you cannot do heavy work like that. You should ask for help earlier. No way! Don't judge a book by its cover. 
I can do it, but doing so much makes me weak. Just kidding. But I like your opinion, honestly. Hey, Alex. I invite you to have lunch today, okay? I want to say thanks to you. It's nothing. Helping colleagues is normal. You should call me every time you need help later. Do you like shopping? Do you like shopping? What types of stores are there? What conversations do you have while shopping? Here are some examples. Dialogue 1 Shopping Mall, Here We Come. Ooh, this dress looks amazing. Mmm, not really my color though. It's too bright. I like a more subtle color. What about this one? It is pretty subtle, isn't it? Yes, that's perfect. Let me try it. You look beautiful in it, Christine. I really like the shape, but the size is wrong. It's a bit too big around my waist. Wait a minute. Let me ask if they have a smaller size for you. Hi, excuse me. Can I ask if you have a smaller size for this style of dress? Mm, I'm very sorry, miss. We actually sold out of every other size for that dress. In fact, the one you have on is the only one of that color left in our store. That's sad. We do offer to tailor if you guys are interested. Yes, I would love it if you could cinch the waist in about an inch. That's totally doable, miss. Would you like to check out right away? Yes, that would be great, thank you. We actually are having a promotion for dresses. You can get a free hat with every dress you purchase. Would you like to choose one that you like? That is so nice. Can I have one in a similar color with the dress? Of course, miss. And may I ask if you are paying by cash or by card? Card, please. Thank you. This is your bag. Have a really great day. You too. Bye. Goodbye. Dialogue 2. Let's buy some perfume. Hey, do you want to go into that store? That one? The cosmetic store? Yes. Ooh, I always spend too much time in there. <laughs> it's fine. Let's go. Have you seen this perfume bottle before? It is limited edition packaging. I love the design. I've seen it online, but not in store. It is very beautiful. What does it smell like? Take a sniff. It is warm vanilla with notes of cinnamon. <laughs> it will make you smell like a bakery. <laughs> I would love to smell like a bakery. Well, are you going to get it? I don't know. Let me see if it is on sale or not. The regular packaging is 30% off. Yes, but I really love the new packaging, though. Then get it. It's not that expensive, right? Yes, but I already have so many perfumes in my collection. Should I get another one? Come on, treat yourself. You deserve it. All right, I will listen to you. Let me pay for it, then we can go to the grocery store, okay? Okay. Dialogue 3. What are we having for dinner? What do you want for dinner tonight, Christine? Mm, what about curry rice? I already have rice at my place. That sounds good. What other ingredients do we need? We will need some vegetables. All right, let's go get them. Where is the veggie aisle? 
It is next to the refrigerators, I believe. Right. Ooh, these veggies are really fresh. Really? How can you tell? Well, you can judge how fresh they are based on their appearance, smell, and touch. Nice. I rarely ever cook, so I don't know about this. That's all right. Lucky for you, I am a great cook. <laughs> that you are. Love you, bestie. <laughs> sure, love you too. Do you want anything for dessert, my love? I would love to have your famous cookies, please. That is easy to make. Let's go get some flour. I ran out of it. And do you want chocolate chips in the cookies as well? Of course, that's the best part. <laughs> okay, then we need to get the chocolates as well. I'm on it. Dialogue four. Let's get creative. What should we do after dinner? How about drawing? You always want to draw, don't you? Of course, I am an artist after all. Don't you think that makes sense? <laughs> okay, let's go to the craft store to get some stuff. I don't really have any art supplies at my place. Should we get a canvas or just regular paper? Let's get a canvas. I'm feeling extra today. Okay. And what type of paint do you like to use? Acrylic paint. I am most used to its texture. Cool. You know you are doing most of the painting, right? I can cook, but I can barely draw. <laughs> That's okay. Leave it up to me. Or I can draw your portrait, and you can be my model. In your dreams, Lauren. I'm just kidding. I hate drawing portraits. Yes, and I can't sit still for too long. Okay, old lady. Can you pass me those brushes? These ones? No, the ones down on the left. Here you go. These are good enough. Let's go check out. Dialogue five. A friend or a new fling? Hey, Christine. Where are you going? Hello, Brad. I'm just getting back to the apartment from shopping. I haven't seen you around for a while. Where have you been? Uh, I had been staying with my parents for the past few weeks, but I'm back in the apartment now. Nice. I was starting to get worried about you. <laughs> oh, thanks for caring about me. And who is this lovely lady, may I ask? This is my best friend, Lauren. Lauren, this is Brad, my next door neighbor. Hello, nice to meet you, Brad. Why have I not seen you before? You guys don't normally go shopping together, do you? <laughs> no, I usually go shopping with my boyfriend Ken instead. I see. Well, Christine, Lauren, why don't you guys come over to my place to hang out sometimes? Bring Ken as well. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. We'll text you later, okay? Sure. Let me know whenever you are free. See you guys around. See you, Brad. Bye bye. Bye. Paying the bill. Currently, there are many payment methods when you purchase. Sometimes, some problems may arise during the payment process. Let's watch this video and learn how to resolve the problem when proceeding with the payment. Dialogue 1. Make a regular payment. Joey, this beefsteak is awesome. Do you want to order one more dish for us? Hmm, Mike, I'm quite full now. I think we should eat dessert now. Okay, Joey. Do you want apple cake or coconut cream? I'd love to eat apple cake. Also, I need a glass of water. I feel fairly thirsty. Okay, let me order. 
Excuse me, we would like to use the dessert? Yes, sir. I'd like two apple cakes and a glass of water. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I'll bring them out now. Here is your dessert. Two apple cakes and a glass of water. Please enjoy your dishes. Wow, this cake looks so delicious. Let's eat. Mike, let me pay for this dinner because you paid for the last meal. Okay, Joey. Excuse me, I would like to make a payment. Yes, please wait for me a minute to check your dishes. Alright, the cost of your dinner is $200. Here is your bill, please. Do you want to make a payment by cash or card? By card, please. Please give me your card. Please fill in your password after checking the payment information carefully. Okay, here you are. We are very satisfied with your food. It's completed. Thank you for dining here. Dialogue 2. Card Payment Error Look, Jenny! That red dress is so impressive! Oh, I see it. Let's go there and try it. Wow, you look so beautiful and attractive in this dress. You should buy it now. Yes, Lily, I love it. So let's go to the checkout counter and pay for it. Don't you buy this dress? I see that you love it too. No, Jenny, this dress does not suit me. Besides, I have too many dresses at home. Okay, let's pay for it. We still need to buy some other necessary things. Hello, what can I do for you, please? I'd like to pay for this dress. Your dress will cost $300. Would you like to buy anything else? No, I only buy this dress. Could you tell me your name and your phone number? Jenny. My phone number is 232-13455. Okay, Jenny. You will receive a 10% discount one time if you shop in our store on your birthday month. By the way, you can pay by cash or card. Which method do you choose? Card, please. Please give me your card. Type your password here. Please check the payment information before. It's okay. Wait for me some seconds. Oh no, sorry Jenny. This card may be an error. I can't use it to proceed with your payment. Do you have another bank card? I'll make a new checkout for you. Um, I have a Visa card. Could I use it? Yes, give me your Visa card, please. Sorry, your Visa card also cannot use it this time. I think your bank has some problems. Could I use my card to perform this? Thank you, Lily. Let me try. Please send me your card. Here you are. Please fill your password in, then put on Enter button. Okay. Yay, it's successful! Let me check. Fortunately, it's okay! $300. Here is your bill. Okay, thank you. Thank you for shopping here! Have a good day! Dialogue 3. Discount for the right claim. Tony, do you want to try a new dish in the restaurant? I see it is in the poster and it looks so good. Yes, Ben, let's try it. Excuse me. Uh, yes, what can I do for you? We would like to order the new dish in your restaurant. Yes, sir. Would you like to get anything else? Uh, give me a glass of water, please. Yes, I'll bring them out soon. Enjoy your meal. 
thank you. 30 minutes later. Hey Ben, why has our food still not been brought out? I don't know, let me ask them. Excuse me, we've ordered your new dish for 30 minutes before. Has our dish done? Sorry sir, we are too crowded today. I'll take your food out now. No, please cancel this dish for us. We have to go out now. Please make payment for us. Yes, sir. Wait for me a minute to check your order and print your bill. Your bill is here. Your meal costs $100. Would you like to pay by cash or card? By the way, we are so sorry for this late. To apologize, I will offer you a 10% discount on this meal. So you will pay us $90 for this lunch. Okay, here is your $90. Thank you so much. We promise that we won't let it happen again. Have a good day. Okay, no problem. I will go back to try your new dish. Dialogue 4. Wrong Invoice. Ashley, do you want to buy a new dress? I know a very cute shop. I think you will love the dresses there. Yes, Harley. I haven't bought any dresses for a long time. Let's go there in the afternoon. We still have to resolve a lot of tasks here. Yes, I agree. We should finish this task first. Ah, Ashley. I'm going to order a cake. Do you want another one? Okay, Harley. Please order me one orange cake. Thank you. Where are you, Harley? I'm standing in front of the shop you told me. I'm coming. Oh, I see you. I'm waving to you. I see you too. Let's buy new dresses. Welcome to my dress shop. Wish you choose the most satisfying dresses. We would like to buy some dresses for summer. Could you recommend us some of them? Yes, please go to the second floor. I set all the dresses in the summer collection there. Thank you. Wow, there are a lot of beautiful dresses. Have you ever bought a dress here? Yes, Ashley. I often go there to buy new dresses. That's why I suggest you this shop. Can you see the rose dress here? Try it. Yes! Uh, I also love this blue one. I'll try both of them now. Ashley, you are shining in this dress. I love it. Let's try the blue dress. I'm so curious. Harley, I think this dress suits you. It's quite small for me. I see. Okay, let me try it now. Perfect, Harley. You have to buy it now. It makes you look so luxurious and confident. Yeah. Do you want to buy anything else? I really want to, but I don't have enough money. I forgot my bank card at home. It's okay. So let's go downstairs. The checkout place is on the first floor. Hi, have you chosen a dress for you? Yes, we'll buy two dresses. How much are these dresses? Let me see. $300, please. Would you like to pay by card or cash? By cash, please. Your bill is here. Please check it carefully. Wait, something's wrong. We only bought one blue dress and one rose dress. Oh, I'm so sorry. I typed the quantity wrong. Let me fix it, please. Two hundred dollars. Please check it again. It's okay. Your money is here. Thank you for purchasing in my shop. Hope to see you again and have a good day. Feelings and Emotions Basic vocabulary about emotions and feelings. The expression you wear on your face is far more important than the clothes you wear on your back. How do you feel today? What influences your emotions? The weather, your friends, your family, 
strangers, or yourself? Situation 1. Today is a bad day. Hi, Ariel. What's going on? You always call before coming. I'm surprised. Today is a bad day, and I need you right now, Crixie. Oh, come in. Tell me what happened. This morning, the weather's so good. I felt great. But everything got worse because of its appearance. What happened? A banana. It is a sad story, isn't it? Yes, I felt terrible. Let's react something about my sad story. Okay, even though you haven't said anything yet, what did the banana do? Today I got up very early. I decided to walk to the company. I wore my favorite shirt. I felt confident, but I tripped by a banana. What a stupid banana! Then I fell into a puddle. My white shirt has completely turned brown. I felt so ashamed. Everyone was looking at me. It's so embarrassing. Then what did you do? I went back home to change clothes, so I'm late for work. Oh my dear, is it okay? No, when I go to work early, why do I never see my boss? But today I arrived late, he and I face to face. Do you often come to work late? No, sir. I mean that I am never late. Seven minutes later, I want to see a report on my desk. Yes, sir. What are you doing? It is last month's report. How did you make a mistake like this? Oh, sorry, sir. I got the wrong report. Not only you arrived late, but your mind was also not focused on work. I'm sorry. Ten minutes later, I want to see your this month's report and the reason why you are late this morning. guess what happened? I don't know. I said because of the banana, so I was late. He got angry again. I'm speechless. I was so annoyed. Today, whatever I touch, they are broken. How do you feel now? I'm suspicious of myself and sad. You can't control what happened or will happen to you, but you can control your emotions. Let's get back to your mood. Don't doubt yourself. You are my beautiful and talented friend. Thank you. I feel better. Let's eat something. Situation 2. My boyfriend doesn't care about me anymore. look unhappy today. What happened? I'm very disappointed. Don't tell me you're arguing with your boyfriend again. Yes, we argued, but what happens, he always calls me first. But now, he didn't call anymore. Even I called him, he didn't pick up. <sighs> Don't worry too much. Maybe he's busy. He ignores me. We rarely text these days. Why are you arguing? When I'm excited, he's bored. When I'm angry, he doesn't care. I'm silent, he doesn't care. When I want to go out with him, he always says he's busy. When I left, he didn't stop me. I am confused now. Thinking so much will make you more upset. Does he still love me? Go and ask him. How do I know? No way, I won't call him first again. 
I don't care about him anymore. Maybe he doesn't ignore you. He can't hear you. Because he's so focused on thinking. That's how men's brains work. What does he think? And you, you just said you don't care about him anymore. I think you should keep yourself busy. Read books, listen to music, watch movies, work, cook, take care of your skin, everything. What if he still doesn't call back? After he comes out of his mind box, he will call you. Really? Yes, he will call to let you know that makeup or breakup. Hey, you make me nervous. I'm just joking, but don't let one guy bother you too much. If he likes you, he will say it and show it. Because he's a man. If not, don't expect it. Just waste your time and skip many guys who like you. You're right. And if you're just like this, I feel... You've lost yourself. No longer a happy and smiling girl as before. You're right. Thank you, my friend. True love makes us wonderful, happier every day, without worry or sadness. I don't need a heartless boyfriend. So how do you feel now? Now I feel confident, positive, and great. Thank you so much. I'm glad to hear that. Situation 3. My best friend confessed to me. What's wrong, my sister? Your face looks like a monkey. I'm not a monkey. I'm still in shock. What happened to you? I said that I went out with Andrew, remember? Oh yeah, I remember. So... We were walking. Suddenly, he stopped and said he liked me. <gasps> I was speechless for about five minutes. I'm so surprised. You and Andrew are best friends, right? I know. I'm so confused. How did you answer him? Then I said you called me and I ran straight home right away. Oh, my girl. Come here. Let me tell you about my memory. What's the memory? I used to have a best friend. We were very close. On his birthday, he said he liked me in front of a lot of friends. Oh my goodness, how many people were there? All the members of our class were there. Wow, so how did you feel? First, I was surprised. Then, I'm confused and embarrassed. What did you answer him? I said we should be friends. What happened next? He was bewildered, then ashamed and sad. That's what I felt. Then he said it was just a joke. But after that, we weren't as close as we used to be. He avoided me. How about you? I don't want to lose him, but I don't know if I like him or not. We're just friends. What should I do next? Ask yourself. Ask your heart. Don't ask me. Situation 4. It's not what I expected. What's up, my son? You look so sad. I feel depressed, Dad. What's up? Can you tell me? I'm so disappointed in myself. Don't doubt yourself. I was assigned to the company's project. I remember that you said if you complete well, you will prove your creativity to everyone and maybe you get promoted. But I failed. The project did not bring profit as I expected. The project doesn't make a loss, right? Yes, Dad. You're still lucky. Many people fail completely and go out of their own money. People tell me not to be sad, but I'm not satisfied with myself. 
So do you know where the problem is? I haven't reviewed the report yet. And you have time to sit here sad? <sighs> I have worked hard. I have been enthusiastic all month, but... Find the problem. Help you do better next time. Negative emotions don't help. It makes you feel unconfident. Doubt yourself. Then you have missed the opportunity to learn more. You're right, Dad. Don't look back on the past and feel regret. Let's learn from the past. Thank you so much. Dad, you're the best. I feel better now. Working hard is good, but you also need to relax and keep your emotions positive. Then your creativity and your mind will go further. Inviting others. Let's watch the video to learn how to invite someone to a party in English. Situation 1. Invite someone to a party celebrating. Hi, Peter. How are you? Hey, Dan. I'm well, thank you. How about you? I heard that you won the first prize in the chemistry contest. Congratulations! I couldn't be better. Thanks, Peter. I'm having a party this weekend to celebrate the prize. I would love for you to come if you can make it. Of course! I'd love to join. Where and when will the party be held? We're having a party at my house. Come around 6 p.m.? That sounds great. Do you want me to bring anything? I will prepare the food. But if you'd like to bring something, then perhaps you can bring something to drink or to play with? Is there any dress code? No, not a big deal. I just want to share the moment with everyone. I can't wait. How many people are you expecting? Not many. Probably around 15. By the way, have you seen Chris? I want to invite her, but couldn't find her anywhere. I saw her on the third floor of Building A. She was participating in the music club's meeting. Okay, great. I will go and invite her. See you on Saturday. See you there. Thanks, Dan. Situation 2. Invite someone to pair up to prom. Hey, Mia. Are you interested in the school prom this weekend? What's up, William? Who doesn't like prom? Of course I like it. Prom this year sounds like lots of fun. Right? I heard there will be special activities that are totally different from prom last year. Yes, so nice, though. Um, have you had a date? I would like to ask if you can go to the prom with me, Mia. I would love to, William. Unfortunately, I have a family reunion on Saturday, so I can't join the prom. My sister will study abroad soon. I'm very sorry. That's totally fine, Mia. I will tell you what is special this year. It's just... I may have to go to prom alone. <laughs> Amelia told me she still hesitated to go to prom because she has no one to pair up with. You may try to ask her. Oh, really? Thanks a lot, Mia. Let me ask her. <laughs> You're welcome. Please take lots of photos and tell me what happens at the prom. I'm extremely sorry that I can't go. Don't worry, I will. At least you will have a wonderful time with your sister before you are apart. Thanks, William. Situation 3. Invite a new neighbor to a barbecue party. Hi, it's me, Greg, your neighbor. Hi, Greg. How are you? I'm Matthew. Great, and you? I'm good. My family just moved in yesterday, so we are still a bit busy. I intended to go over and say hi to your family this evening, though. 
Thanks for coming. Please come in. Thanks, Matthew, but you still seem busy with the house. Can I have only a few minutes of your time? We can have a longer chat next time. Okay. What happened, Greg? I just want to say hello and would like to invite you and your family to my place for a barbecue party this Saturday. Oh, sure. When is it? Around 5 p.m. Is there anyone else coming? There will be another five neighbors' families. Sounds like a nice event. Is there a special occasion? <laughs> I got a new outdoor grill, and we would like to meet you and your family, too. It is so nice of you all. What can I bring to the party? Would you like to bring some beverages? Sure. Let me take care of the drinks, then. Great. We usually share foods as well. Our neighbor, Amber, has excellent apple pies. That sounds so delicious. This is going to be a great party. I hope so. Hope my grill works well, too. <laughs> I hope so, too. A long time no backyard barbecue party. Okay, see you on Saturday, then, Matthew. Thanks for inviting me and my family, Greg. See you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Situation 4. Invite someone to a birthday party. Hey, James. Hi, hey, Amy. What's up? James, this Friday is Ben's birthday. Our class is planning to hold a surprise birthday party for him. You know, he is very sorrowful after his parents' divorce. So, I want to ask if you can join Ben's birthday party this Friday and give us a favor? Sure, he's my best friend. Even when I'm in different classes. I know all guys in your class, though. What can I help? Everything was planned. We only need someone to take him back to class 30 minutes after school break time. We will be ready at the time. Mm, a bit difficult, but I will find a way. I may need your help on this. If you have any plans or need my help, just tell me before Friday. Okay. Is there anything else I can help with? Um, do you have any photos of him when he was young? We may need those for the birthday cake decoration. I think I have. Let me find them tonight and send to you. Thanks a lot, James. Not at all, but I want to confirm again about where and when. The party will be at your class 30 minutes after school break in the afternoon, won't it? Right, that's all you have to remember. We've got the rest. Okay, Amy. I will tell you my plan soon. Okay, James. See ya. Bye. See ya. Bye. Situation 5. Invite someone to come over for dinner with the family. Hi, Laurel. Christmas holiday is coming. Will you go back to Germany this year? Hi, Beth. I won't. I just came back home during the summer holiday, so I decided to stay in New York. My parents just mentioned this last night. They said if this year you stay in New York, come and enjoy the holiday with us. Please send my special thanks to your parents. So nice of them for inviting me. But another roommate will stay here also. I can't let her stay alone during the holiday. It's okay, Laurel. How about Christmas dinner? We have a small party every year on Christmas night. Would you like to come over and have dinner with us? Ask your roommate to come with you also. Sure, I will, Beth. I'm glad that I can enjoy the family atmosphere on Christmas Eve. I will ask my roommate, too. What should I bring to your house? Come on, Laurel. You don't need to bring anything. Or, if it makes you more comfortable, just bring a small gift for my little sister. Good idea, I will. What time can I come over? You can come in the early afternoon. We can prepare dinner together. There are always lots of fun preparing Christmas dinner. Okay, Beth. <laughs> 
Thanks again for inviting me. I will call you during the holiday anyway. Tell me if there is any change. Sure. Bye, Laurel. Bye, Beth. Bargaining. How do you ask for a lower price? Where there is demand, there is supply. Where there is the seller, there is the buyer. Sellers usually want to sell at a high price, and buyers always want to buy at a low price. Let's see how the characters bargain with each other. Situation 1. How much is this wallet? Good afternoon, miss. How can I help you? My wallet is too old. I want to buy a new wallet. I see your store has a variety of wallets. Yes. May I recommend you some new models? Of course. Please show me. We have some new models that hmm. just arrived yesterday. There is a pink wallet and the brown wallet. Okay. Let me see. They are gentle, simple, but elegant, and suitable for women. The pink one looks so pretty, and the brown one is so elegant. I think the pink wallet suits me better. You have good taste. Recently, the pink model is selling well. How much is the pink wallet? Yes, it's $25. Your price is too high. Because this is a new arrival, and the quality is good. What is the price of the brown? The price is $20. Can you make it lower? It is the best price. We cannot lower the price. The leather is very smooth and durable. <sighs> I can buy a wallet like this at other stores for a lower price. I'm not sure about that. Our store is the cheapest in this area already. Well, I've bought a wallet before for $15. Thanks anyway. How much is the best price for you? I'm looking to spend no more than $18 on a wallet. Hmm. So, I can give a brown wallet to you for $18 and a pink wallet for $24. It is my best offer. I think... I should look around, then make a decision. Just a second. Waste your time if you go around. Yep. I can't lower my price anymore, but if you buy both wallets, the price for wallets is $40. Let me think for a moment. We don't think we can go that low. All right, I'll take them. One is for me and one is for my mom. You have good taste. Your total bill is $40. Here you are, $40. Thank you. Thanks and see you again. The wallet is perfect for you. Bye bye. I have sold two wallets that make me as happy as I just sold a house. She is a good bargainer. <laughs> You're a good bargainer too. Situation 2. It's too expensive. Can you make it lower? How can I help you? I'm looking for a lamp to help with my photography. I'm a photographer. Do you have any lamps like that? Of course we have. Follow me upstairs, please. Look at this lamp. It's so interesting. It is a popular model in recent times. Young people love this model lamp. What lamp is it? 
It is a sunset projection lamp for the home bedroom background wall. Why is there only one lamp on the shelf? It has sky blue, rainbow color, sunset color, etc. Now, this is the final sample of sunset color. That sounds great. How much is it? It's $30. $30? Um... What if you give me half? $15. $15? I don't think so. This lamp is selling very well. But it looks so old. It is still dusty. Today my staff is off. I replace. I haven't cleaned it yet. You see, if it's so hot, I think it would sell out. I imported this lamp for one month and everyone came here, saw it, and bought it right away. They bought it online too. It is the final sample. But I haven't seen another color lamp yet. I'm not sure I like this sunset color the best. I don't have much choice. The warm light, like the sun from this lamp, is no joke. It makes your wall look so beautiful. If you sell it for half price, I will buy it. The lamp is high quality, and the price is reasonable. It's durable and has 180 flips at your wish. I cannot pay any higher price. Let me show you. The battery of this lamp can be changed in many ways. Charger, power bank, USB socket, PC, or laptop. I know. Would you accept $20? I'm so sorry, but... You're a photographer, and you have good taste. I take you for $25. It is my final price. Alright, I'll take it. Thank you. Good choice. And the lamp is yours. Situation 3. This is the special price I offer you. This place right, honey? That's right. The owner of this store fixed our TV. He said that he sells used TVs. Hi, how can I help you? The day before yesterday, you came to my house to fix my TV, and it's broken again. It's not my fault. Your TV is old. You should buy a new TV. I know, so I came to buy a new TV. <gasps> Look, what I heard, Tom finally buys a new TV. No, it's not. He means to buy an old TV, but it's new to us. That's really him. Let me show you an old TV, but still like new. Okay, thanks. It is a flat screen television, 32 inches, very suitable for the living room. It's so cool. It looks new. Yes, you're right. Beautiful light, HD resolution, can connect to Wi-Fi. The TV also has connection ports such as USB, HDMI. Is it sound still good? Of course! Let me show you. It's not bad. How much do you want? Very cheap! The price of this TV is $190. Wow, that's great! That's more than I want to pay. I can give you $150 for it. <gasps> hmm. Wait, really? Tom? No, Tom. I need at least 185. Do you know how much other stores sell this TV for? No. I don't care. Sorry. All I have is $165 right now. Oh, it's okay, honey. There is an ATM right- $165. That's all I have. I could go as low as 180, but that's it. No sale at all today. That's right. I know there is no reason why you must get a discount on used TVs. Yeah, you know, $180 is very good. But sorry and thanks anyway. We'll go to another store. Alright, it's up to you. 
What are you doing? The same TV we just watched on Opposite for $250. You don't know how to bargain, do you? Bargain? Of course I know how to bargain. You don't know how to bargain. Go back and buy it. Calm down, Luna. Let me count. One, two, three. All right, you can have it for $175. <gasps> That's so wonderful. $167. 174 dollars 168 173 169 no more 170 it is my final offer i don't sell lower it is the special price i offer you it is just for you i think 169 dollars is so <sighs> here have one dollar now you have 170 dollars Let's buy it, or tonight you sleep on the sofa! Okay, deal. Thank you for the special price you offered me. What interesting bargaining. <sighs> yeah, I thought it was only in the movies. Let's cook together this weekend. Alice and Anna cook at home, but something unexpected happens. Guess what they'll do to solve it, and watch the video to find out! Alice, how's it going? Anna, it's good. I'm over the moon because I've just finished an important project yesterday. Wow, amazing! You look so happy. Yes, Anna. The past three months have been exhausting, to be honest. This project is very important, so I tried my best. It ended, so I feel like a burden was lifted off my shoulders. That sounds great. It's time for you to spend time for yourself. Just relax and recharge your battery. Yes, of course. What a pity when the pandemic is still in an outbreak. I want to travel abroad and let my hair down. Oh, I know. Anyway, you can still chill at home. Do you have time this weekend? How about coming to my house? You haven't come to my house in a long time. Yes, if my memory serves me right, Nearly four months? That's right. Oh dear, I've been free since yesterday. I have a whole week off to relieve stress, so I'll come to your house this weekend. Great! What will we do at your home? What do you think about cooking? I've learned some new recipes. You'll be the first to taste those dishes. Oh, it's my pleasure. Just kidding. Anna, what dish will you cook? Beef with wine sauce. I ate this at a restaurant last week and loved it. So I learned the recipe online. So exciting. What can I do? Um, you can peel the carrots and onions for me. Sure. Everything else is fine. Just put it on the stove and cook. Looks like this is easy to make. Right? Let's go to the living room to chat. This dish is just waiting to be cooked. About how many minutes? I think... 20 minutes, then just eat. Okay. Alice, what will you do after a week off? Ah, a new project. 
I heard the manager talk about this project. It's shorter than the last project, but it still takes a lot of effort. How about you? Is your cosmetic store doing well? Yes, not bad. Since the pandemic, my shop has had an online form. I'm also spending a lot of time building up the store's image on social media. That's a good idea. I see a lot of stores with this new form of sales. Very convenient because of social distancing. Yes, I also consulted many people. Ah, your skin is not good these days, right? Your skin doesn't seem as shiny as before. Oh, girl, I was overworked. Sometimes staying up late at night. For you, I think it needs moisturizing. I just imported masks to my store. I'm using it too. Very good moisture. Please take it home and try it out. Thank you so much. I think I have to care more about my skin. Anyway, you still look pretty. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, last week I saw Alex. How are you and Alex? He's been very fond of you since high school. Yeah, I know, but I told him he's not my type. So you're going to be single forever? No way. I'm dating another guy these days. He's my brother's friend. Very polite and gallant. Ah! <gasps> wow! This is the first time I heard that. Are you going to hide it from everyone? No, Alice. I've only known him a little over a month. I'll introduce you soon. Can't wait to see him. What about you and Jack? I remember the last time I saw Jack was our class reunion. Yes, he's busy too, even busier than me. But Jack and I are fine. Although we're busy, we still make time to visit each other. Sometimes go to dinner. I really admire your love. You guys have been dating for two years, right? Nearly three more days to our two-year anniversary. We were going to travel, but due to the pandemic, we couldn't go. So we're going to have dinner together. You'll be the happiest person that night. So I have to dress beautifully, but the thing is, I don't have anything to wear. I need some new dresses. We can go shopping together. But wait until tomorrow. It was quite late by the time we finished eating. No, Alice. I mean, we can go shopping online. Online shopping is the best choice. I also want to find jeans and sneakers online. That's a good idea. Let me see. What type of dress do you want, and what color? A dress that's a bit chic. Black or white is great. They're very easy to mix and match with accessories. Great. Can this be? Quite luxurious, but it seems a bit long. Ah, uh, yes. This is nice. Nice length and good color. Do you think a short sleeve dress would look better? I think you look better with short sleeve dresses. Oh, really? I don't know about this. Hey, Alice, this one, perfect. Ah, yes, Anna, I love it. Order it. Yeah, this shop is my favorite clothing shop. I previewed these pants and shoes. What do you think? Great, Anna. It's very suitable for your style, dynamic, and youthful. Hey, Anna, do you smell something strange, like a burning smell? Yes. What's that? Oh, oh my God! 
Beef with wine sauce in the kitchen. Oh no, is it burned? Oh dear, we forgot it. We left it there nearly 35 minutes. It's completely burned. We should have set the bell to remind us to turn off the stove. How careless. Ugh. What should we do now? We can't eat at home. I wanted to cook for you at home, but I failed. How about going out? I know a good restaurant near my house. The beef with wine sauce is quite good. You want to try? Okay, sure. Sorry, I invited you over to my house to cook, but I failed. Next time, I'll cook it again. Don't mention it. It's okay. Going out to eat is fine. Next time, you can come to my home and cook. Okay, let's go. Don't forget to wear a mask. Okay, I remember. <laughs> What did you do with your hair? Emma, Rosie, and Lisa are three best friends. They rent one apartment to live together. That was one Saturday and rain is slightly outside. Emma, Rosie, and Lisa were staying at home today. Rosie, do you want to have some cakes? Cake? Yes. I just made a mouse cake with cacao butter. I learn on Nino TV. Is it eatable? <laughs> I haven't tested it yet. This is the first time that I've made a cake, so I hope it's not too bad. Bring it here. I will try and give you some feedback. <laughs> here it is. Wow, it looks so yummy. Mouth-watering. Yummy. Yummy. I will try one piece. Your fork. Mmm. Hey, it's so amazing. The texture is soft, and this tastes mildly sweet. I mean, it's not too sweet as in a bakery, but I love it. Cool, I was afraid that it's yucky. If Lisa want to taste it? I don't know. Where is she? I haven't seen her all morning. Perhaps she is still in the room? She told me that she is binge watching a movie series last night. Okay, I will save a portion of it for her. Do you want to watch a new TV show? I heard that it has the highest rating at the moment. Which one? The circle? <gasps> I was about to talk to you about it. You know, I save it in my watching list. Hey, do you recognize that it's raining outside? Oh, that is the reason I am craving sweets. <sighs> the forecast announces that it is going to rain all weekend. So boring. Come on, we can stay at home and watch TV. How long have we gathered together and watched TV, huh? Yes, I can't remember the last time. We are too busy recently. I really want to go to the nails and spa shop. My nails are broken, so I need to fix them. Let me see. You should arrange an appointment as soon as possible. If not, it may hurt you so bad. I know. Are you free tomorrow? Do you want to go there with me? Absolutely! After 5 p.m.? I have to complete my deadline before 4 p.m. What about Lisa? We should ask Lisa as well. But what is she doing now? I will come to her room and try calling her. <gasps> Girls! 
What should I do now? I look so stupid. What did you do with your hair? Guess who is this? A clown in a gray dress? Do not laugh at me anymore. I am freaking out now. Calm down. What did you do with your hair? I just watched a video this morning. Kind of... this one. Hello beauties! Today I will show you how I get my layer haircut. I had a lot of questions about haircuts and I decided to cut it by myself. There are several easy steps. Firstly, getting your hair ready for a layer cut. Divide your hair into sections. Make a ponytail at the top of your head. Slide the elastic down the length of your hair. Cut off the end of your hair. Then remove the elastic and examine your layers. I'm done! This is my hair after I do cut it by myself. It looks so perfect, doesn't it? How stupid I am. I watched Pony's video on YouTube and then I followed her guides. Yes, I... I did it following step by step, but I look... <laughs> How bad is it? Tell me what should I do now? Does it look so terrible? I have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> Calm down, Lisa. Let me see your hair first, then we can decide if we can fix it by ourselves. It turned out that she watched a tutorial video on the internet. Then she had a haircut by herself, but it failed. The front looked good, but the back was messy. It looks bad, really. I don't want to scare you, but it is. Yes, I think so, Lisa. You should cut it to short hair. Really? I was going to cut layers. I still want to keep long hair. Is there any way? No way, Lisa. You should ask for our advice before doing it. My bad. May you help me fix it? I'm afraid of being laughed at when I go out with this hair. No worries at all. I will take my hat for you. Emma, can you call Crunchy Salon to book an appointment for her? Sure. Hello, is it Crunchy Salon? Yes, I want to arrange an appointment. Yes. Wait for me a minute. What time is better for you, Lisa? As soon as possible, please. I can't look at myself in the mirror even for a minute. When is the earliest time to make an appointment? 2 p.m. in the afternoon? Okay. Yes, Lisa. This number. Thanks. Do you go with me? I don't want to go alone. I'm afraid the hairdresser thinks I'm mad. Okay. Now we can watch TV and eat cake. There are three hours left. That afternoon, they went to the hair salon to fix Lisa's mistake. Emma and Rosie waited for Lisa in the lobby. Oh my god. What did you do with your hair? I guess you learned cutting hair on the internet, didn't you? How do you know? In recent days, many girls have come here to fix their failed hair. Don't trust 100% in what you watch on the internet. Luckily, your hair is long, so it's easy to fix. If yours was short, it would be a hard case. Yes, once and for all. I don't think I can fix it to keep this layer style. You can cut it into short hair. I'm okay with it. Okay, I have a catalog here so you can have a look. Let me know which style you want. Finally, Lisa had to have short hair. 
The hairdresser helped her to have a trending style. She looked better now. At the barber shop. At the barber shop, what activities can you do? Watch the video to know what they do. Situation one: Ask customers for opinions. Hi, Mr. Bell. What can I do for you today? Hi. The same as usual. Um, the haircut and shave. Right. You cut the ground under my feet. <laughs> I understand. You're my frequenter. Okay, let's do it. Sure. Take a sit down here, and I will do it for you. But how do you want your hair cut? Just trim it lightly, and remember the beard shave also. Of course. How about I do some new trendy hairstyles? It's trendy these days. I don't think I'm suitable for it. I'm gonna stick with the old classic style, like in the past. A few months ago, I tried dyeing my hair. People said that it makes me look older. I understand. Everyone suits different hairstyles. Yes. So when I get a chance, I'll try a different hairstyle. For now. I will leave it as normal. Okay. Now you can lower your back and relax. I will start now. Cool. Done. You can look through it again. If there is anything you want to change, tell me. To be honest, the beard is okay, but the hair is quite long, a bit shorter. I think this is longer than my expectations. Okay, no problem. Anything else or just that? No, that's the only thing. The rest is okay, I guess. Is it okay now? Perfect. That's the hairstyle I really want. You've done a great job. I really like it. Thank you. Situation two: Overloaded barber shop. Hello. Can I help you? Hi. I want to have a haircut, but it seems overloaded here. Well, unfortunately, yes. Because today is the weekend, many people have booked to have a haircut. Oh, what a pity! So I need to go back home, but it is raining cats and dogs now. You can wait for us. There are only three more customers ahead of you. Where can I sit and wait? Please sit and wait at the table over there. We have a variety of books, magazines with different topics, or you can preview the hairstyle you want to do in our photo album. There are many new hairstyles. It's also on the table. Okay, sounds good. You guys really understand the need of customers. We always put the needs of our customers first, and you go there and sit first, please. I'll bring fresh tea and cookies right away. Thanks. There seems to be a few people at the waiting table. Maybe it'll be my turn soon, right? Yes, I hope so. How long will it take? I think it will take you about thirty minutes. Don't worry. If it's your turn, I'll call you right away. I really appreciate your service. That's the reason why I like your barber shop and why you have many customers every day. Thank you. So please wait a bit. Okay. Situation three: An appointment at the barber shop. Good morning. How can I help you? Hi. I want to have a hair dyeing. Definitely yes. But first, can I know your name to check the appointment? Oh, appointment? 
The last time I came here, I didn't have an appointment. Is that right? Yes, actually, you just need it to set in order to be served better and faster. But if you didn't, I'm afraid you will have to wait some time for your turn, and that is a little longer than usual if you set an appointment first. Tough break. I didn't even know that. Well, we started doing this last week. We've reminded customers through some communication channels about this for quite a time before. But I guess some of the customers are way too busy to check that information. There are many people like you, so don't worry. That's right. Last week, I was on the go because of my deadlines at school. Maybe that's the time I missed your information. Right. So what should I do now? Do I need to set an appointment now? If you have time, you don't need to do that. You can wait in line for your turn. Great. How long does it take? At the moment, I think it will take you about 20 minutes. Can you wait for this time? If you are in a rush for somewhere else, I will help you to make an appointment and you can come again later, in the time convenient for you. No, today is my day off, so I think I will wait for it. Hope it won't be too long. Don't worry. Please go to the table over there and sit down to wait. We have tea, cookies, and magazines for you. Okay, I got it. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Situation 4. A Frequenter Hey, long time no see, Jill. Oh, hey, Danny. How are you these days? Not too bad. And is the business still going well? You see, like any other business in the pandemic, my business wasn't as usual. At the same time, I still pay for the rent expense monthly. Me too. My restaurant hasn't had many customers lately. Most of them are at home because of social distancing. It's a good way, but it makes it difficult for business people like us. That's really down on our luck. Right, but this pandemic appears suddenly. No one wants it. <sighs> Not only you and me, but also some people were no better. Like a nightmare. I hope we can manage it. Luckily, my house owner is really nice. He agrees to reduce the rent for me. Wow, such a lucky person you are. I should also make an agreement with my landlord. Yes, you should do that. We have to try our best to manage the situation. Okay. Anyway, we have to go on with our normal life. Please help me cut my hair. Of course. Do you still want to cut like last time? Right. Okay, I'll do it right now. I will go to your restaurant for dinner. Oh, welcome. Or you can order food to take home. We have a delivery service. Oh, really? Is it new? Yes, one way to manage this situation. Future Perfect Tense The future perfect is a verb form or construction used to describe an event that is expected or planned to happen before a time of reference in the future. Let's watch the following video to learn more about how to use the perfect future tense. Situation 1. Group Assignment Hey, Jenny, Alex, Jack. Let's stay for a while to have a group meeting. Sure. I think the topic the teacher gave us is so difficult. Yeah, I think so. Um, quite hard. We need to discuss this carefully. It accounts for 20% of our marks this term. Our teacher said that we have to make a short video about the effects of COVID-19 on people's lives. This topic requires a lot of knowledge about reality from us. 
Do you guys have any ideas? It's a wide range of aspects we can do, I guess. For example, education, medical, culture. Oh, so many. What about others? Well, I think so too. Ah,、oh, why don't we gather all the ideas from members and choose the best one? Because I think everyone has their own thought and idea. Good idea. So, can you create a file and share it for everyone to write the ideas in it, Alex? Of course. I have a laptop here. I'll do it right now. Okay, cool. We will have filled the ideas in the file by 10 a.m. tomorrow. We should think about the best and easiest idea to make it as convenient as possible when recording the video. Are you okay? Um, too early. We won't have completed it in a short time. Okay, how about 12 a.m.? Is this enough? Good! It's enough time. And then we give each person a share to do. For instance, general introduction, influence, and some adaptation solutions. The video editing part is also quite urgent. I can take charge of editing. Very cool. So we will have finished this task by 8 p.m. tomorrow. That's right. Then it's time to roll up our sleeves and get the video done. Great! The location of the video will have been chosen by 12 a.m. the day after tomorrow. That's a great timeline. I totally agree. That's good. Situation 2 Tomorrow Presentation. Tomorrow is the project presentation day for the partner company. This is really important, so we must not make any mistakes. We all know that, so we are prepared carefully. Don't worry. Okay, good. Ah. I have just read again the report you sent me yesterday. Overall, I think it is quite good, full of content, but I think there are still some small mistakes. <gasps> oh God, I'm sorry. Well, I've commented, check it please, and you have to edit as I suggested. Double check it a few more times to make sure there aren't any more mistakes. You will have finished this task by 5 p.m. today. That means before work. Yes, I remember that. Cool. How about the preparation? I need everything to be perfect. Yes. I have prepared all cleaning the meeting room, preparing water. Checking electricity, projectors, tables, and chairs. What time will you be here tomorrow? Because I'm in charge of preparing and the meeting will begin at 9 30, I will have been here by 8 a.m. Yes, good. You should come here early. I will check again about the machines, speakers, screens. Do not worry, I will try to make everything perfect as you expect. Very good. Situation 3 I will have made the meal. Hey, Jenny, you look so tired. How's it going? Well, to be honest, not good. I feel exhausted because of the workload. At the same time, I have to complete the project in Paris and deal with a new project. <sighs> Poor you. You should take some rest today and pay more attention to your health. Would you like to come to my home and have dinner? 
Of course, but I don't have time today. You can come anytime you want. Weekday or weekend is still okay. Just spend one day and chill. Share with me everything that makes you tired. You may be more comfortable after that. Thank you so much. I'll show you my talent in cooking that day. You'll be surprised. Are you free on the weekend? Saturday and Sunday this week, I will have been in a meeting in Paris. Oh, Friday? Actually, Friday evening I will be free, but I'll be home late from work. I need to prepare something for the meeting the next day. I won't be able to help you prepare dinner. Don't worry about those things. I said I would show off my cooking skills. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, but trust me. But I feel so shy. Hey, you can wash the dishes. I will have made the meal ready before the time you come back from work. Situation 4 When will he have done the deadline? Hey Alex, how are you? I'm good because I have finished my part of our project this morning. Now I'm free. How about you? Yes, yesterday I finished it. Indeed, finishing the tasks makes me feel over the moon. Yes, I agree with you. I wonder if Jack and Lucy have finished the lesson yet. I haven't checked my messages since I posted my part to the group this morning, so I don't know if they're done or not. Well, Lucy is already done after you about one hour and I don't know what Jack is doing. Who knows? The deadline is 12 p.m. tomorrow, right? That's right. He will not have done this before tomorrow afternoon, I'm sure. Oh my god, why? You don't know because this is your first time you worked with a team with him. Everyone knows he is the person who does every task at the last minute. Ah, uh, no, not that, but nearly the deadline. Why? Is he always busy? No, even if he doesn't do anything, there is a lot of time, but he still doesn't do it. I don't know why. Maybe it is his habit. Oh, I think it's a bad habit especially when working in a team. This habit will affect other members. He should do it before the deadline a bit to check in again with others. Yes, I told him many times before. He said, I know, I know, I will change and nothing changes. <laughs> Are you sure he will have finished it? Yes, he will have started to do it by the afternoon tomorrow. He never misses any deadlines. Okay, I hope so. Perhaps the next time I will set the deadline earlier. In a new neighborhood. Let's watch the following video to learn how to introduce yourself and make friends with people in your new neighborhood. Dialogue 1. Meeting the Neighbors Hello there. You just moved in here, right? Yes, we just moved in two days ago. I'm John. This is my wife, Lisa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Jared. And this is my wife, Riley. Where did you guys move from? Our old place was in Brooklyn. My wife got a new job in Queens, so we decided to move here. And you guys are locals here? Yes, we are. So, how's the new home? 
Oh, it's super nice, but my wife and I are used to living in an apartment, so we will probably need some time to fit in. Haha, <laughs> take all the time you need. We've been in this house here since 2000. Oh, really? Wow, what's the neighborhood here like? It's lovely. There are many things to do, but it never gets noisy. I have never had any complaints, actually. Oh, but watch out for the dog across the road. What about it? Whenever the Jonas family is not home, their dog is let loose. So if you have any kids, please be careful. Ah, uh, I see. We have a six-year-old son. We will take note of this. Thanks for letting us know. No problem. Let us know if we can help you with anything. That's so nice. Thank you. Dialogue 2. Learning about the neighborhood. Hi, Lisa. Hi, John. Are you guys going out? Good morning, Riley. Yes, we're planning to go out for a walk and to find something to eat. Oh, nice. It's such a beautiful day. It really is. Hey, Riley, do you know any good places for brunch around here? There's a cafe on Walnut Street. It has the best bagels and coffee. Great, we love bagels. Thanks for the suggestion. Can we ask you something else? Sure, go ahead. What is it? Is there any mall or supermarket around here? We want to buy groceries and some kind of stuff on the way. Ah, uh, there is a big mall not far from here. Jared and I often go there every weekend. Just go down this road for about three blocks and take a left when you see the flower shop and the mall will be on the right. There's a supermarket on the first floor of the mall. That's superb! The mall has everything you need. There's also a cinema right next to the mall. Wow, awesome! Thanks for all the information, Riley. No problem. By the way, do you guys happen to go to church? Yes, we go there every week. We do too. Would you mind if we join you next week? Not at all. The more the merrier. Great, see you next week. Dialogue 3, Barbecue Party Hey Riley, it's Lisa. Oh, Lisa? Give me a second, I'm coming. Okay. Hey Lisa, what's up? Hey, this Sunday, John and I are hosting a barbecue party in the backyard. We'd be very happy if you and Jared can join us. We're inviting some other people in the neighborhood, like the Martins, the Johnsons, the Jonas, Heather, Lana, Josh, and Joe as well. That sounds wonderful. I think we can make it. But just let me check our schedule real quick to make sure we're not busy on Sunday. Of course. Take your time, Riley. Yep, we are free as a bird. Oh, wait. Party is at noon, right? Yes, it's at lunchtime. The party will start around 11.30 a.m. Is that still okay? Yes, we will be there on time. Great. We will bring some packs of cold beer we just bought. Do you guys need anything? I'm going to the supermarket tonight. Aw, oh, thank you. The beer is more than enough, Riley. You guys joining us is our pleasure. Please don't go into any trouble. It's no trouble at all. We will come over on Sunday then. Okay, see you then. Bye, Riley. Bye. Dialogue 4. Taking a walk. It's such a beautiful sunny day. I can't remember the last time I felt so relaxed. Yeah, it's so great being able to enjoy the sunshine and the cool breeze. Our old place was always loud and noisy. I feel so great that our new neighborhood is so beautiful and tranquil. 
I feel the same way. Our new house is closer to the city center, but it's not noisy at all. And it's so convenient that we have everything from supermarkets, the mall, the cinema, to restaurants and coffee shops nearby. Yeah, it's great that everything is within walking distance. Moving to this neighborhood is such a good decision, don't you think, honey? It's the best place to raise our little Ben. Also, our neighbors are all so nice and respectful, especially Jared and Riley. They are always willing to help us. Yeah, that's true. It's not easy having such good neighbors nowadays. I'm so glad we moved. Dialogue 5. Playing at the Park <laughs> happy that we took you to the park, Ben. Of course, it's awesome. I love it. Before, when we still lived in Brooklyn, I could only go to the park once in a while. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry about that, honey. The park was too far from our old place, so we couldn't go there often. But this park is only two blocks from our house, so now we can go here every weekend or any time you want to. Awesome! Wow, this park is so much bigger than our old park. Yeah, you're right. Be careful, honey. Don't run so fast, you'll trip over. I'm fine. I'm not gonna trip. Trust me. Mom, Dad, look. There are so many games here as well. There are swings, <laughs> seesaws, slides, and balls here. I love this park. You're right. This park has such a big playground. It's even bigger than the playground at your school. Wow, it also has tubes and climbers. We're glad you like this park. So what games do you want to play first, Ben? I want to play on the slide. Oh, oh, I want to sit on the swings as well. Okay, honey, let's go. In the fall. Halloween. In the fall, we have a lot of different activities. Check out what fall activities the characters below are participating in. Situation 1. Costumes. Mommy, we will have a Halloween party this weekend. Wow, it will be so funny. Do you think about any character you want to costume? Not yet. Do you have any ideas? A minion? No! Many friends also choose it. What about a dinosaur? Jimmy wore it last year. What about a skeleton? What about a highlighted skeleton? Sounds good. I will look so cool this year! <gasps> oh my god! What are you wearing? Mommy bought me a highlighted skeleton costume! Tommy, <laughs> you're so funny! <laughs> you look so awesome! Will everyone like me? Sure, sweetie. I will take you to school today. <gasps> Tommy, what is it? It is a highlighted skeleton. It looks so weird. Why? My mom told me that it is great. But it is so scary if you stay in the dark. Hey, Joe! <gasps> oh, who's that? It's me! Your friend Tommy! Oh my! You look so scary! Cause it's Halloween, isn't it? I can't look at your face! I may have a nightmare! Okay, I will cover it with this tissue paper. No! No! It looks scarier! 
I'm so sorry. I think I need to go. See you later. Yeah. Tommy, what happened to you? Why are you standing alone in the corner? My costume is so bad, isn't it? No, it looks quite, uh, special. My friends don't want to come near me because of it. Maybe it's because you look like a real skeleton. But I don't like it anymore. No one wants to play with me. I'm so sorry. Can I help you to remove all makeup layers? Can you? Yes, I will help you. You look better now. Thank you so much. I think your friends will like it now. Come in. Situation 2. Haunted House. What is the plan tonight? Will we still do something like trick-or-treating? Ugh, it's so boring. Anything new? Hey, I just heard about a haunted house in the forest over the hill. Oh my god, is it real? Do you mean the small wood castle over Park Hill? That's it. Can you tell me what you heard about it? There is a wooden house on the other side of the hill. Locals there always hear the TV set at night every Sunday. But no light. No people. Yep. Just a TV sound. The rumor is that there is a ghost living there. But why just Sunday? I don't know. That's weird. It's not real. Should we try to come by and take a look? <gasps> really? Yep. Today is Sunday. We can prove the rumor. Okay, that's a good idea. Should we bring a flashlight? Uh, of course. And a wooden cross, just in case. Listen, the, the TV sound. It's real. About a stalled I'm so because scared. Should we return home? Eastern time, the two -year note rose Is anyone there? Points, I should quarter, knock on the door. Give me the cross. Oh my God! Run now! What happened, boys? Hey, he is talking in English. I can't turn back! I can't open my eyes! Are you playing trick-or-treat? I have candies for you. <gasps> he isn't a ghost. A ghost doesn't have a shadow. You aren't a ghost? <laughs> No, I know there is a rumor about my house. I just came back on Sunday, and I want to stay in the dark with candles to relax. Oh, I see. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no problem. Your candies. Happy Halloween! Thank you. Happy Halloween! Situation 3. Picking Apples Honey, you look so good today. Thank you. Get in. Let's go. 
Look, honey, the leaves are changing their colors. Do you know why it's called fall? Because the leaves fall from the trees at that time? That's true. Walking among the red leaves is always an enjoyable experience. You can walk and pick apples all day today. Sure. <laughs> it is the activity I love most in the fall. Arrived! Wow! The trees bear good fruits! I swear it always tastes better than buying in the supermarket. It makes my mouth water. Do you know how to choose a perfect apple? We should focus on the apple's firmness. Avoid apples that are noticeably soft and mushy. What about color? It should be red or have a pink-orange hue. Okay. We harvested lots of apples. Yes! I think I will make some apple cakes when we return home. Great. I love apple cakes. Do you want to go around? The weather here is so wonderful. Yes. Who went here with you the first time? It was my grandma. At that time, we joined a local fall festival. What was the festival like? I don't remember the exact name, but they always celebrate it once a year. I am so curious. I also want to take part in it. It is tomorrow. However, it is Monday, unfortunately. Oh, what a pity. I really want to know how they prepare and celebrate it. If you want to see how to prepare it, you can ask the farm owner. Really? Yes. He and his family may be cooking some for the party tomorrow. Excuse me? Yes? Did you have a good time today? Yes, I did. I just want to ask about the festival tomorrow. Oh! You know about that festival? Yeah. I was wondering if I can help you a bit to prepare for it. Of course. My daughter is preparing some cakes for it. <laughs> Great! Do you want to join us tomorrow? I'd love to, but I'm busy. Tomorrow is Monday. Okay. Come with me. My daughter is in the kitchen. Thanks so much. Situation 4. Thanksgiving Day. Nick, I miss you so much. Me too. Grandpa, look at what I have. Fresh fruits? Oh, I love them. Welcome. How do you do, Dad? I miss you. I'm great, always. Where is my mom? She is in the kitchen. Come in. Mom, what dishes do we have today? A roasted turkey, of course, because today is turkey day. Mashed potatoes, green beans, corn, dinner rolls, cranberry sauce, and apple pies. Okay, I will help you with roasted turkey. Great! Mommy, honey, do you need any help? No, we can control everything here. Honey... Dad told me that the light and door in the basement are broken. You should fix it before dinner. Sure thing. Where is Nick? He is playing with Dad in the garden. 
He always likes to play soccer with Dad when coming here. Oh, I'm glad he loves it. He seems not to have time to play with Nick. I understand. He's always busy with his work. Sometimes he has to work on the weekend. He should balance his work and his family. I have an apple pie. I will bring it for Dad and Nick. How about roasted turkey? It's still in the oven. It takes more than ten minutes. Okay, then I will help you to take it out. Thanks, Mom. Ah, uh, I need some rosemary. Can you get me some? In the garden? Yes, your dad's rosemary's grew. Dinner is ready. Come in. Wow, it is the biggest turkey I've ever seen. Really, Nick? So you should eat a lot. Sure. Ah, uh, I have a card. I made it for two of you. Oh, thank you so much, sweetie. Happy Thanksgiving! Talk about your free times and hobbies. Dialogue 1. What do you do in your spare time? What do you enjoy doing in your spare time? Well... I do quite a lot of sports, actually. I enjoy going swimming. Wow, so interesting. How much time do you have each week for doing these things? I go swimming every day after I finish my work. There's a very good pool just around the corner from my office. How about you, Jane? Do you have a lot of free time? To be honest with you, I work quite hard at the moment. So I don't get a lot of free time, unfortunately. I just have free time on the weekends. What do you like to do on the weekends? On the weekends, I like to cook and invite my friends around for dinner. As you know, I'm a big fan of cooking programs and often try to copy the recipes. And sometimes I'm really into bicycling. Oh, really? Besides, I like going swimming. I like bicycling too, by the way. Who do you go cycling with? Sometimes on my own, sometimes with my friends. You should come with us next time. Thanks, that sounds great. Dialogue 2. Talk about your free time. Are you watching Titanic, Lucy? Yep, you know this movie? Of course, it's a classic movie. Exactly. I've seen Titanic three times. You seem to like watching movies, right? Definitely. I'm a movie freak. For me, watching movies is an excellent way to unwind. Moreover, my friends are really into films, so it's interesting to spend time together. Sounds great. What kinds of movies do you like best? I love watching all genres. I try to absorb and enjoy ed as many different kinds of films as I can. Whether it be the blockbuster Avengers, Endgame, Iron Man, or comedy drama musicals like Glee. That's great. Do you watch a movie with subtitles? No, I don't need subtitles because I want to improve my English. How often do you watch films? Well, I am quite busy, but I manage to see about one or two films a week at home. After a long day of studying, I love snuggling up on the sofa and watching a film to relax. I tend to do this on Friday and Sunday evenings with my friends. So interesting. 
What about you, Kate? What do you do in your free time? Unlike you, I like to play tennis in my spare time. Cool. Playing sports will help you exercise your strength. Yeah, I know. How often do you play tennis? I play tennis as soon as I have free time. If you are free, we will play tennis this weekend. Of course. It's a good idea. See you next week. Dialogue 3. What do you usually do on your weekends? How are you doing? I'm okay. And you? So am I. Do you usually have the weekends off? Same as any other company, I will have two days off, which is Saturday and Sunday. But whenever a new project works, I have to work overtime, even on the weekend. So what do you usually do if you get a break? As usual, I often go shopping in the shopping mall with my mom all morning. In the afternoons, I'll take my dog for a walk. Do you often hang out with friends? Of course. Occasionally, Saturday night, I would go out to eat or drink coffee with a few of my friends. What about Sunday? Sunday is always a great day because I can do whatever I want. I sometimes go out to go swimming. If it rains, I will stay home and watch one of my favorite movies. It's a lazy day. How do you feel when you have free time? The weekend is a good time for me. It refreshes my mind after a week's hard work. Me too. I always look forward to Saturday and Sunday. Dialogue 4. Conquering the mountain is very difficult. Welcome to our sports news today, Tom. I'm so glad to be invited here today. As everyone knows, you have conquered Mount Whitney in California. That's right. How long have you been climbing the mountain? Mm. It's been about five years. Incidentally, five years ago on a flight to New Zealand, I watched the film Everest, in which adventurers have conquered the mountain in a blizzard. I immediately wanted to start climbing. So the movie inspired you, right? Exactly. What is the height of the highest mountain you have conquered? It's Mount Whitney in California, the highest in mainland America, at 4,421 meters. That's great. I admire you very much. And when do you usually go climbing on the mountain? My friends and I formed a climbing team. We are both freelancers, so we usually have a lot of free time. We usually spend the whole of December climbing. Is it difficult? I think it's very difficult. I think the altitude, awful weather, and punishing temperatures all pose a serious threat to those who want to submit the mountain. What difficulties do you face? My biggest difficulty when climbing is about temperature. I remember at that time, the temperature dropped to a negative 20 degrees. There was also a blizzard. That's terrible. Is it dangerous? Yes, it's very dangerous for us. If we weren't careful, we would have been swept away by a blizzard. What an interesting talk show. Thank you for joining. Dialogue 5. Do you have free time to cook for your family? My team has a new project again. We are always busy. I have overtime until 8 p.m. That's bad. I don't even have time to make dinner for my family. How about you, Lisa? Do you have enough free time to cook? Yes, I have enough time to prepare a healthy dinner for my family. Wow! How do you manage your time? Well, I am quite busy, but I manage to one or two hours preparing dinner. After a long day of working, I love cooking for my son and my husband. As you know, I'm a big fan of cooking programs and often try to copy the recipes. Are you tired of having to do too much? I don't see it. 
Cooking helps me relax after a long day. And cooking delicious food with my kids and husband makes me very happy. Do you cook dinner alone? Nope. Every day I am in charge of cooking. My husband washes the dishes. My son tidies up the table. Your family is so happy. Conversations at home. Tom's house is very cozy and a happy family. Let's watch the video and see daily life of everyone in the family. Wake up, Tom and Lana. You have to get up right away to have breakfast and go to school on time. Oh, yes, Mom. Come on, Lana. Why are you still sleeping? Mom, please, just let me sleep in a few minutes. I'm so sleepy. No, do you know what time it is? It's half past seven now. You don't want to be late for the bus, right? Okay, Mom. Ah, uh, I've prepared sandwiches and milk for your breakfast. Enjoy your breakfast. Thanks, Mom. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Dad. You are looking so sad. What happened, Lana? Yes, Mom. I had a bad dream last night. I'm still feeling afraid now. What was your dream about? Could you remember it and tell us? Hmm. I dreamed that I was lost in the desert and there was no water left in my bottle. I was very thirsty and hopeless. No one could hear me even though I screamed so loud. It sounds really scary. How about you, Tim? Did you sleep well last night? Yes, Dad. I even had a sweet dream. Lily and I went out and we ate a lot of fried chicken. We also went to the circus together. Wow, my boy has a girlfriend. <laughs> I finished my breakfast. I'll go to the bus stop now. Goodbye, Mom, Dad, and Tom. Bye, sweetie. Have a good day. What's the matter, baby? Are you looking for something? Yes, Mom. Do you see where my bag is? I don't remember the place I took it off. <coughs> hmm, I don't know. Have you found it carefully? Do you think you still leave it in your room? Maybe, Mom. Let me check it. Have you seen it, Lana? No, Mom. I'll be late for school. You're wearing your backpack. Why are you still looking for it? Ha <laughs> you are so absent-minded. Mom, you knew that. Why didn't you tell me? 
Because you look so funny. It's late now, Lana. I think you should go to the bus station now. Yes, Dad. Goodbye, everyone. Tom, have you prepared everything you need for today's lesson? Yes, I did it yesterday. You are a good kid, Tom. Of course, Mom. I will always be good to become Spider Man and then get married to Lily. Do you love Lily, your sister's friend, who often comes to our house to play with you and Lana? Yes, Mom. I really love Lily. She is always gentle with me. She also looks so cute. Lily has brown hair, blue eyes, and I love them so much. Wow, Tom. I'm fairly surprised about you. Okay, I believe you can make your dream come true. Thanks, Mom. Let's go to school, Mom. Okay, here we go. Goodbye, Dad. See you in the evening. Love you so much. Bye, son. Have a good day at school. I love you too. We have already come to your school. Remember to be obedient and listen to your teacher, and don't forget to say good morning to her. Yes, please. Who will pick me up this afternoon? Your dad. I will be very busy today, and I will be back home late. Let me take you to your class now. Yes, mom. Good morning, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, Mrs. Mary. Hi, Tom. Let's go in your seat. We're ready for class now. Yes, please. Goodbye, Mom. I love you. Bye, son. Love you. Mrs. Rachel, Tom's dad will come to pick him up today, and he'll arrive late because his company is quite far from here. I hope you can play with him at that time. Okay, Mrs. Mary. I will remember it. You don't have to worry about it. Thank you, teacher. I have to go now. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, Mary. Go careful. Hi, Tom. Have you waited for me for a long time? Yes, Daddy. The class ended for a while. And everybody went home. Mrs. Rachel played with me, and we watched a cartoon together. So where is she? I don't know. She just went in, and you got there. So ah,、oh, she's here. Hello, teacher. Thank you for being and playing with my son. I'm sorry for the late. You're welcome. Actually, your wife said you would be late and asked me to play with Tom. You should say thank you to Mary. So we'll go back home now. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, Mrs. Rachel. I really want to see you again tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. So, Tom. How was your day? Today was a very happy day. We learned about new animals through very lively videos. The teacher also taught us how to play basketball. I was the highest score on the basketball game my teacher organized. <laughs> Good job, my son. I'm so proud of you. Dad, do you feel that today is so hot? Yes, I feel it too. I drank a lot of water today, but it didn't work. 
So, can I swim when we arrive home? I haven't swum in a long time. Of course, Tom. Swimming is very beneficial for your health and height. You should invite Lana to swim with you. She also loves to swim like you. Yes, Daddy. Let's swim. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, son. Mom, do you see where my swimming glasses are? I took it out for us, but I forgot to give it to you. I'm leaving it on the desk. Oh, I see it. Thanks, Lana. Hello, Uncle Mark. Oh, uh, hi, Lily. My mom told me to bring some fruits for you. Are Tom and Lana at home? Thanks, Lily. Yes, they are going to swim now. Tom, Lana, Lily has come to play with you. Hi, Lily. Do you want to swim with us? It will be very fun. Yes, I love to, but I don't have swimwear. You can use mine. Let me take out the one for you. Thank you, Lana. Now, who wants to join a swimming competition? Yes, Dad. I will win this game. I can swim very fast. Don't be too confident, Tom. Lily and I can beat you easily. Right, Lily? Ha ha ha. Let's try your best, everyone. After I said to start, the three of you will swim from one end of the pool to the other. Whoever gets to the finish line first will be the winner and will receive a box of cakes in the house as a reward. Are you ready, Lily, Lana, and Tom? Yes, Dad. We're ready now. Three, two, one, start! Yay! I said that I will win this game. Congratulations, Tom. You swim really fast. Dad, I won one more round. I believe that I'll beat Ben at this game. Tom, do you agree? Of course, Dad. I will prove that I swim better than Lily and Lana. Okay, back to your position. Three, two, one, start! Yeah, I did it! Congrats, Tom. You are so excellent. Thanks, Lily. Dinner is almost done. Everyone, let's take a shower and have dinner. Lily, I've called your mom and she agreed to let you enjoy dinner with our family. Yay! Thank you! My mom made beefsteak. So delicious. You can try it today. Wow, I love it. Come on, guys. Get ready to take a shower. Yes, yes sir. sir. Conversations at home. Go camping. Tom's family is going camping today. Let's watch the video and see what they will do during the camping trip. Yeah, finally, we got here. The view is so amazing and beautiful. Let's get out of the car and take our stuff out. Mm -hmm. 
your mom and I will build a campsite there to have a place to take a rest after the meal. Tom and Lana, you two will arrange the tables and chairs as well as put the food and drinks on them. Are you ready? Yes, Dad. Please do it quickly. I'm so hungry. <laughs> okay, son. We put the food in the big red box. Yes, Mom, I see it. Mark, where did you put the tent stakes? I can't find it in the tent bag. Oh no, Mary. I seem to have left them at home. I took them out to double check the quantity, but forgot to put them in the bag. Mark, I had told you many times. You are so absent-minded. What do we have to do now, Mark? I don't want to go back home too early like this. I'm sorry, honey. I'll go deep in the forest to find wood for making steaks. It will be very dangerous. Don't worry, Mary. I'll be back as soon as possible. Be careful, Mark. I believe in you. Mom, do you want to take a short rest here? We finished setting up the table and the food. That's a good idea. Good job, Tom and Lana. Tom. What are you doing there? I'm looking at flowers and insects. They're so small. I have a magnifying glass in the bag. Do you want to use it to see everything more clearly? Sounds great, Lana. Please take it out. You and I will explore what insects are doing here. Okay, Tom. Do you know what this is? Is this a worm? I'm not sure, Tom. It doesn't look like a worm. Let me ask Mom. Mom, can you come here for a bit? Yes, daughter. What's the matter? Mom, Tom and I are wondering, what is this type of insect? It looks like a worm, but I'm not sure about it. Hmm, let me see. Oh, this is a larva butterfly. Have you ever heard about it? Is it a little butterfly, Mom? Yes, but it looks very ugly, right? Let me tell you about the butterfly's life. Butterfly's mom lays many eggs on fresh green leaves or stems. After a few days, the shell of the egg breaks and a long worm-like caterpillar comes out. It's also called larva. Oh, it's here! That's right, Lana. A larva feeds graciously and grows quickly in size. Once the larva is big enough, it stops eating and enters the transformation stage. It stops eating anything at this time. After a few days, the shell of the pupa breaks and an adult butterfly comes out. Wow, it's so amazing! I'm back, everyone. Yes, Daddy. Could you bring the wood back to make the camp for us? Uh, no, I didn't. Sorry, son. So, we'll have to go back home now? We don't have a place to stay in. Haha! <laughs> Surprise! Where did you get them, Dad? I thought you left them at home. 
It's a long story. I was looking for wood when a snake appeared. It's too big and terrible. I was so scared and ran as fast as possible to get rid of the snake. Luckily, I saw an expedition team in the distance and ran to them. When I got there, I didn't know that the snake hadn't chased me for a while. I told them about the stakes. Fortunately, they brought two sets of tents, so they accepted to loan me one stake set. So, let's make camp, everyone. It looks so cool, Dad. Yeah, let's grill beef. Two of you will take beef in the blue bag out. Your father and I will prepare for the grill and seasoning to marinate the meat. Yes, Mom. Did you forget to buy coal, Mark? Ah, uh, no, Mary. I will take it out for you. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Mary. What happened, honey? I didn't bring a lighter. How could I be so bad? Oh no, Mark. I don't know what to say now. Have you searched for it carefully? You may have dropped it somewhere. Let's look one more time. If we don't have a lighter, we can only make fire by rubbing the stones together. It must be flint. We don't have any flint here. So, we should find the lighter first. <gasps> oh my god, it's here. What is here, Dan? I don't understand what you had said. Where did you get the matches? You are a savior of our family today. I took them from home. What's the matter, Dan? I had forgotten the lighter at home, so we don't have anything to make fire. Fortunately, now we can use your matches to grill beef. Here you are, Dan. You are so absent-minded. Mary, you don't need to look for a lighter. I already have matches here. We can start grilling beef now. Wow, Mark, where did you get them? From our daughter, Lana. She has saved us today. What? Let me see it. Lana, you shouldn't play with fire. It's so dangerous. You may get damaged or even make a forest fire just by a match. How could it, Mom? It's just a small match. It could. It's the dry season, so the fire is easy to break out and spread. Many forest fires caught from the accident of human. Don't you know that? <laughs> Good mom, I will never play fire in the forest anymore. You're a good girl, Lana. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Let's grill the meat now. Mom, please give me more beef. It's so yummy today. I also feel that tonight's meal is so awesome. Because today is a long day for everyone. All have to work so hard, so I think you'll be very hungry. Sorry, everyone. I was so bad today and made your mom very tired. No problem, Mark. You made today become one of the most memorable days of our family. 
Yes, a memorable camping trip. Mom, Dad, look up at the night sky. It looks really magical. Wow, so beautiful. Look, the moon is full and bright. I've never seen a big moon like this. The moon is actually much bigger than you think. We can see the whole moon because it is so far away from us. I knew it, Dad. I watched TV and they had talked about the moon. Good, son. Who wants to sing after the meal? I brought my guitar here and I'll play it for you. Are you sure that you brought it here, honey? Ha <laughs> I'm sure. I love singing! Yay! Conversation at home. Visiting grandparents. Tom's family is going to visit Tom's grandparents today. Let's watch the video and what will they do at their grandparents' home. Tom and Lana, do you know what we'll do tomorrow? Tomorrow is Sunday. We will go to visit grandparents. Yay! That's right. So now, everyone will prepare the stuff for tomorrow's trip. Don't forget to bring the gift you've made for your grandparents, as I said. Yes, Mom! Mark, why are you watching TV? Have you prepared enough things we have talked about before? Of course I did. I've checked the fruit and wine we bought and carefully boxed it. The new message machine we bought I also put in the trunk of our car. Good job, honey. Ah, have you checked the gas of the car? Are you sure it will be enough for the trip? Yes, Mary. I just refueled yesterday when I went out to buy the fruit. Why do you worry about me? I'm just worried that you'll forget everything, like the camping day. No, honey, it was an accident. Forget it. <laughs> Tom and Lana, have you put everything you need in your bag? No, Mom. Do you see where my glasses are? Which glasses? The glasses with Spider-Man on the frame. Ah, uh, I remember it. You have kept it in my room. I cleaned the house yesterday and saw that you left it in the living room. So, I kept it for you in my room. Let me take it out for you. Thank you, Mom. By the way, you should not leave things indiscriminately. Only bad kids do that. Yes, Mom. I remember. I can't see where's my picture. I spent three days drawing it. I really want to give my picture to my grandparents as my gift. Have you searched for it carefully? Yes, Dad. I'm afraid that I forgot it in my class. I think we should look for it one more time. I will help you with it. Thank you, Dad. Ah, don't forget to search for it in your bag. You may put it in, but forget about it. Hmm, let me see. <gasps> oh no, you are right, Dad. I put it in there. I'm so absent-minded. <laughs> no problem, daughter. You are really like me. Okay, everyone, let's go to bed early. We'll start the trip early tomorrow.
Yes, Mom. Good night, Mom and Dad. Good night. Mom, can I take Sam with me? I think he also wants to play with Lou at my grandparents' house. That is a great idea. Okay, Tom, you will hug Sam in the back seat. Okay, Dad. Are you ready? Let's go now. Yay, we got there. Sam looks so excited. It's the first time he's been out this far. Tom and Lana, remember to say hello and ask about your grandparents' health. Yes, Mom. Long time no see, Lou. He looks bigger. Why doesn't he stop barking? It's so annoying. Come on, Sam. You're barking too? I think Lou forgot us and he'll bark with strangers. It's a normal thing a dog does. Let me call your grandparents. I think only they can stop it. Mom, Dad, are you home? Mark and Mary, right? I'm opening the door right now. Stop, Lou. You're so annoying. Good morning, Grandfather. I'm, I'm so, so happy, happy to, see to see you. Good, my children. Let's go in the house now. You must be very tired. Yes, Dad. We left early in the morning. Okay, get in. Your mom is very eager to see everyone. <laughs> Oh, is this Sam? I haven't seen him for a long time. Uh, yes, Grandfather. This is the dog that Grandpa gave me last year. He grows so fast. Okay, I'll put Lou in a cage so he won't fight with Sam. Hello, Grandma. How are you? I'm very strong. I miss you so much. Come here, let me hug my two children. We miss you too. Ah, I have a secret gift for you. Let me take it out. It's one picture which was drawn by me. Grandpa, do you like it? You draw very well. Yes, I love it. I'll hang it in the living room. I have a gift for you, too. Here you are. Wow, Tom, your robot looks so cool. Thank you, my child. It's my favorite robot of Tom. He just played it one time before. <laughs> you are so kind, Tom. Mom, Dad, I've brought some fruits and wine for you. Ah, we also brought a new massage machine. I know you have back pain, so it'll be very helpful for you. I love massage machines. I told your mom to buy one, but she didn't agree because it is very expensive. Thank you. Lana, do you want to eat apple cake? Yes, Grandma. I love apple cake very, very much. Oh, let me bring it out for you. I just made them in the morning. Yay! I love apple cake too. Tom, come here with me. 
I really miss you, my boy. Yes, Grandpa. Uh, do you enjoy going to school? Do you play with many friends? I have a lot of friends at school. Also, I'm ranked first in my class. Good job, my boy. Let me kiss you once. Oh, Tom, you are so cute. You must be very hungry. Let's prepare for lunch now. Yes, Mom. I'll give you a helping hand. What will we have for lunch, Mom? I'm so curious. I will make chicken soup and baked ribs. That sounds great, Mom. Dad, how is your health recently? Have you and Mom still keep cycling as before? Yes, of course. We always cycle every afternoon. We go around the village. It helps us feel better and eat more in the evening. Yes, I'm strong like you, Grandpa. I even swim faster than Lana. She lost to me in a swimming competition last week. Because you're a boy, Tom. But you're older than me. Oh, both of you are so good. And Mark, how about your career? Everything is good, Dad. I'll be promoted to deputy director next month. Also, my wife has become the team leader last week. I'm so proud of you, Mark and Mary. Thank you, Dad. Do you want to try that massage machine now? I heard that it will make you feel so comfortable. Ah, uh, yes. Let me bring it out there, Grandpa. Okay, Tom. Be careful. It may be fairly heavy for you. Don't worry, Grandpa. I'm as strong as Superman. Grandpa, do you still have apple cake? I have eaten the whole cake. Yes, of course. You can go to the kitchen and ask your grandma. I remember that she made a lot for you and Tom. Yay! I'll go with you, Lana. I'm hungry, too. Ha <laughs> ha, these kids are so cute and docile. Conversations at Home The Broken Vase Sunday is the day off that everyone looks forward to. Let's watch this video and see what Tom's family members do this Sunday. Good morning, Mom and Dad. Oh, my daughter is awake. Let's wash your face to have breakfast with us. Yes, Dad. Tom hasn't woken up yet? Yes, he's still sleeping in his room. Today is Sunday, so we allow him to wake up later than usual. Hurry up, Lana. I made your favorite apple cake for you. I also made orange juice, and it goes great with apple pie. Yay! I love it! So, Lana, I remember you had a math exam last Tuesday. Did you do it well? Yes, Dad. Lily and I were two people with 95 points, and that was the highest score in our class. Well done, Lana. Enjoy your meal. I will go out with my friends now. But, Dad, you haven't finished your noodles yet. You will be hungry. Thank you, my daughter. Don't worry. I'm full now. 
Besides, I asked my friends to meet me at the cafe at eight o'clock, and it's almost late now. I'll go now. Bye, everyone. Love you. Goodbye, Daddy. Honey, please remember to buy beef and tomato, as I said yesterday. I will make beef steak for our family this lunch. Okay, Mary. I got it. Lana, how is the cake today? They're awesome. The apple cake you make is the best cake in the whole world. <laughs> hey, Lana, are they better than your grandma's cake? Oh, I forgot. Grandma's apple cake is also the best. You are so clever. Listen, Lana. I have to clean the house now. Can you help me feed Sam after having your breakfast? Yes, Mom. I just finished eating. Let me help you clear the table. Okay, you can put Tom's breakfast in the fridge so he can eat it when he wakes up. Yes, Mom. Then what will I do after feeding the dog? You can play anything you want in our house, or you can wake your brother up and play with him. It's quite late now, and he should get up. Okay, Mom. Ah, I will also make cupcakes for you and Tom after cleaning, so let you wait for it. Yay! Thank you, Mom. What happened, girl? Mom, I'm so sorry. I was playing with a ball when the ball accidentally hit the vase and knocked it over. The vase is broken. Are you okay, Lana? I was about to run to the living room. I'm okay, Mom. I swear that I didn't see the vase in there. I'm sorry, Mom. Calm down, Lana. Let's go to the broken vase with Mom. Here it is, Mom. Okay, please give me the brush to sweep this debris. It is in the kitchen. Yes, Mom. Look, Lana. You have to be very careful with broken glass. When broken, the vase will become small, sharp pieces of glass. You can easily cut your hands if you do not handle them carefully. Yes, Mom, I got it. And remember to be careful when playing, daughter. Yes, Mom. I think I will do my science homework now. I don't want to play anymore. Okay, I will call you when the cake finishes. <laughs> Good morning, Mom. What was that? Hi, son. Are you awake? Ah, uh, your sister played with a ball and unfortunately broke the vase. Go brush your teeth and wash your face. I'll heat up your breakfast cake right now. I already did it. Where, Dad and Lana? Your dad went out with his friends, and your sister Lana is studying in her room. Okay, I set a timer for the microwave. Your cake will be heated in three minutes. What are you doing, Mom? Well, I'm making cupcakes. They also include your favorite chocolate and vanilla flavors. Yay! They'll be so delicious. Do you want to watch me make cupcakes? Yes, Mom. I was going to watch my favorite cartoon, but I just remembered that that show has been moved to noon.
By the way, can you help me to put your dishes in the sink after finishing your breakfast? Okay, mom, it's easy. What did I do? Hmm? How can I break mom's vase? This is the most favorite face of mom. She will definitely be very sad and disappointed in me. What should I do? I can't let mom be sad anymore. Ah, uh, I know. I hope mom will forgive me for the old face. I want to give you this new vase. Hopefully, it will replace the old one. Hmm, let me see, Lana. Where did you get it? I just got it in my room. I regret breaking your vase, so I made a new one. So you can arrange flowers. I used old water can, then colored and wrote letters to decorate it into a new flower vase for you. Yeah, I see it. This word is so touching. You are an emotional and cute girl. Thank you, Lana. Do you love it, Mom? Of course, sweetie. It is so meaningful. This new vase is definitely better than the old one. I will arrange flowers into it now. You make me so surprised. You're not mad at me anymore, right? Oh, no, Lana. I have never been mad at you before. I just want you to be more careful when using glassware. Yay! Thank you so much, Mom! Mom! I can make an even more beautiful vase than Lana's. Do you want it? You can do it when you break another glass vase, Tom. <laughs> well done. Look, Tom and Lana, such a cute flower vase. Mom arranges flowers really well. Thank you, son. Your dad must be so surprised when seeing this new vase. Mom, have you done the cupcakes yet? I really want to eat them. Yes, Mom. I'd love to try them too. Oh, I forgot. I had finished baking the cupcakes. Let Mommy take them out so we can eat them together while watching TV. Yay! Let me open the HBO channel. I remember that they will show a blockbuster on HBO today at noon. Is it Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone? Exactly. So I will help Mom bring the cupcake to the living room, okay? Yes, Lana. Looks like it's late for the movie. Hurry up, Lana. Okay, Tom. Conversation at home. Lana's mask. The evening at Tom's house is also very interesting and fun. Let's watch the video and discover an evening at Tom's house. Daddy! Come here. I want to whisper you one thing. What's the matter, son? Do you want to eat something? I'm quite hungry, Dad. Oh, okay, Tom. Do you want to eat an apple? I know that your mom just bought many apples this morning. They're so great. Really, Dad? Okay, let me ask Mom. Mom? <laughs> I heard all the conversations between you and your dad. 
Let me go peel apples for the two of you. Thanks, Mom. Uh, Tom, can you go to Lana's room and call her to the living room to eat apples together? Yes, please, Mom. It's weird. After finishing eating, Lana ran up to her room immediately. It's close to her favorite movie, but she won't go down. I don't know what's going on here. I think she must have had too much homework today, so she needs to go up to her room quickly. Lana, would you like to eat an apple? Mom is peeling delicious apples, so you won't have any apples to eat if you're late in the living room. Lana? Are you in the room, Lana? Yes, I am. Come in, Tom. I have an interesting thing I want to show you. Mommy! See, I never guess wrong. What happened, son? You look so scared. Calm down, my boy. Tell me about it. Dad, Lana looks so scared. Lana has a scary mask. She wore it to scare me when I went up to call her down for an apple. Poor son. Is it really that scary? Yes, Dad. I have never seen anything so scary like this. Lana? Why did you threaten your brother? Did you know that he's very afraid of ghosts? I'm sorry, Dad. I had apologized to Tom, but he was too scared, so he ran away from me and told you. I was afraid of being scolded, so I didn't dare to go downstairs. You need to promise that you won't tease Tom anymore, Lana. Then everyone will not blame you anymore. Yes, Dad. Sorry, everyone. I will never tease Brother Tom anymore. I am so sorry, Tom. Okay, Lana. Come here and eat apples with us. By the way, it's time for your favorite film. Do you remember it? Yes, Mom. I'm coming down right now. Let me take more tea for everyone. I made them last afternoon. Great, Mary. Thank you, honey. <gasps> oh my god, Lana! What is this? You just threatened me out of my soul. Mark, look at your daughter. She's naughty like a boy. Dad, that's the mask! It looks really scary. Lana, why are you still wearing the mask down to the living room? I'm so sorry, Mom, Dad, and Tom. I just want to show Tom that everything on this mask is not real. I don't want Tom to still obsess about this mask. Oh, Lana, I blamed you wrong. Sorry, my daughter. But I still think you should keep this mask in your room. Then you can come down here and enjoy apples. Yes, Daddy, I got it. Tom, do you want to eat this final cake? I'm full now. No, Lana, I don't want to eat your cake. Why, Tom? You love this cake so much. Tom may still be mad at you about the mask. He was so scared. But I had apologized to him immediately. Okay, Tom, I will eat it. Tom, if you finished your breakfast, you should prepare a school backpack and clothes to get ready for school. Today, Dad will take you to school. Yes, Mom. I also finished my meal. 
I will go to the bus station now. Goodbye, Mom and Dad. Lana, wait! Are you going to wear your sandals to school? <gasps> oh no, I forgot. Thanks, Mom. It's still early, daughter. You even forgot your school bag on the table. Thanks, Mom. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye, Lana. I wish you a happy school day. And remember, not to tease your friends with the ghost mask. They may be very scared like your brother. Yes, I got it, Mom. Tom, are you ready? Okay, Dad, let's go now. Don't you want to say bye to your mom, Tom? Ah, <gasps> uh, sorry, Mom. Goodbye, Mom. See you tonight. I love you. Bye, son. Bye, Mark. Have a good day. Thank you, honey. <gasps> wow, this snake is giant. Aren't you afraid of it, Tom? I'm not scared. This snake is only in this film. Do you think that Harry Potter can kill it and save Hermione? I hope so, Tom. But he needs a very powerful weapon. He can't beat it by hand or magic chopstick. He has to find it first. He doesn't know where the snake is. That makes sense, Lana. Mark, can you help me to watch this potato soup for me? It's almost done, but I need to go out now to receive some important things. Okay, honey, I'm coming now. Tom and Lana, can you tell me about the missing part of the movie later? Thanks. Okay, Daddy, believe us. Oh, Ben, long time no see. How are you and your family, my old friend? We're good, Mark. How about you? My family is also very happy. Do you remember Tom? He is six years old and has become a very smart boy. Of course, Mark. The last time I visited you, Tom was just learning to talk. By the way, Lana must be very different. I remember that she was very intelligent. Yes, Lana is a cute girl. Ah, oh, Ben, when are you going to get married? Oh, I forgot. I called to inform you that I'll get married to Monica next month, and the wedding ceremony will be held at my house, and... I would be very happy if you and your family can attend my wedding day. Congrats, Ben. Of course. We will definitely come. Oh no! What is this smell? Mark! What's wrong with my soup pot? Ben, I have to stop the call now. I just made a big mistake. Bye, and hope to see you soon, my friend. Bye, Mark. Oh no, Mary. I forgot it. I'm so sorry. We can't eat it anymore, Mark. What will we use for our meal now? I didn't mean to do it, Mary. Ben called to inform me about his <gasps> wedding next month. I was so busy talking to Ben and forgot to look at the soup. Really, Mark, I'm so glad to hear that. So, we will order pizza for our meal and to congratulate Ben. What do you think about it? Aren't you mad at me? I love your idea.
Okay, let me call pizza for everyone. Hurry up, Mark. I think that the children are very hungry now. Okay, honey. Today, Lana's teacher was called to her parents to report her mistake in class. Watch the video to see why and how her parents helped Lana to realize her mistake. Do you think this word is pineapple? It is a yellow fruit and pineapple chunk that can be used in desserts such as fruit, salads, or cake. That's right, Lana. Let's see the next word. This fruit grows on vines, can be eaten raw or cooked, and can be made into lots of things like jam, juice, vinegar, and oil. Its name has five characters. Is that pumpkin, Lana? I don't think so. We make vinegar from pumpkin. Also, pumpkin has seven characters in it. What about grape, Lana? <coughs> yeah, I think it must be the correct answer. You're right, Tom. Grape is a reasonable answer for this word. Only two words left. We'll finish all the crosswords about fruit. I don't know if mom and dad have finished preparing dinner yet. I'm feeling a bit hungry now. Yes, Tom. I'm also curious about what we're going to eat tonight. Why is dad in the kitchen with mom today? I have no idea, Lana. I think we should focus on the two final words here. I won't win this game now. Okay, Tom. It's done, Mary. I washed and arranged all the ingredients needed to make the pizza, as you said. Thanks, Mark. Can you help me to go out and buy some drinks to have with the pizza? I'll make the rest of the pizza and bake it. Of course, Mary. I'll buy a Coke for you and the kids. By the way, do you want to drink beer? We haven't drunk it in a long time. That's a great idea, honey. And remember to buy chili sauce. The chili sauce at home is gone. Okay, sweetie. I'll go now. Mark, someone is calling for you. Let me see. It's Lana's teacher. I think she has called to report her school results. Let me answer the phone. Hello, Mrs. Ann. I'm Lana's father. Hi, Mr. Mark. How are you? I wanted to tell you a little bit about Lana's situation in class. Uh, yes, I'm not busy now. I'm ready to listen. Actually, Lana is quite naughty in class these days. Could you tell me a little more detail? What did she do at school? Lana often teases her friends in class. She hides in the wall with a mask and jumps out to scare her friends. Some of them are startled and run away or even fall. Oh no, I'm so sorry about that. I already reminded her in front of the class, but... I still want her parents to know and remind her a little more so that Lana realizes what she did wrong. That's why I called you today. We'll talk to Lana right now. Thank you, teacher, and hope you will help Lana more in class. I just wanted to inform you about it. Lana is studying very well and concentrating, so I'll hang up the phone now. Goodbye, Mr. Mark. Uh, goodbye, Mrs. Ann.
So, Mary, do you understand the situation? Yes, I got it. I think you should talk to Lana. She was closer to you and listened more to you. You should explain to her why she shouldn't tease you with masks anymore. At that time, let me buy a drink and chili sauce for you. I believe you, honey. Okay, I'll talk to Lana now. Lana, can you go to my room now? I want to talk to you for a while. Yes, Dad, I'm coming. So, Lana, did you often use the ghost mask to scare your classmates? Your teacher had told me about it, and she was sad about you. She really doesn't want you to do it anymore. I'm sorry, Dad. I so regret doing that. You shouldn't tease them too much or they'll be scared. If you want to tease your friends, they'll gradually hate you and stop playing with you. You'll be very lonely then. <sighs> Lana, I am a bit sad when the teacher calls and tells me about your mistake. Promise me you'll never do that to your friends again. Yes, Dad. I promise. I believe you, my good daughter. I will apologize to my friends tomorrow and bring my candies for them. I think they'll forgive me soon. That's a good idea, Lana. Dad, where's Mom? I'm so hungry right now. She's gone to the mini mart to buy some things for dinner. Do you want to play the Spider-Man game, Tom? Yay, I love the Spider-Man game. Dad, lift me up there. Okay, Tom. You shoot the thread and I'll take you where you want to be. <laughs> Whoa! Dad, I also want to play a Spider-Man game. Tom, it's your sister's turn. You've been playing for a while, so take a break. Yes, Dad. I will let Lana become Spider-Man. And I'm Iron Man now. I can fire by my hand, and I also have iron armor. But you can't fly like me, ha ha ha. Flying is boring. Now, I prefer to walk and fight with the enemy. You're so smart, Tom. Ah, um, Mom is back. Yes, I bought Coke for you and Lana. Who wants to eat pizza tonight? Really, Mom? We love pizza. Okay, just wait for me a few minutes. I baked the pizza in the microwave before I went out, and I think it's ready to eat now. Yay! Let's eat pizza! Tom and Lana, you two have to wash your hands carefully before eating. Then please help me to bring the food to the living room. Today we'll have dinner and watch a movie. Yes, yes Mom, Mom, I got, got it. it. Cheers. Mom and Dad are drinking beer? What's in its flavor? It has a slightly bitter taste and is very cool to drink. You'll be able to drink beer when you turn 18. Bitter? I think I still love Coke more than beer. Mom, can you give me a little tomato sauce? I can't eat pizza with chili sauce anymore. It's too hot for me. Oh, I'm sorry, son. Wait for me. Five seconds. Here you are, Tom. Enjoy. The pizza is awesome. 
You made it very well, Mom. Thank you, Lana. Why didn't you praise me, Lana? I also made this pizza with your mom. Oh, I forgot it. Good job, Daddy. Haha, <laughs> thank you, daughter. I also just bought grapes and kept them in the fridge. Everyone can eat grapes after finishing this pizza. Yes, thanks, Mom. So I have to eat pizza faster to eat grapes. Hang in there, Tom. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.